all right folks so in this video I'm gonna show you how to replace how to fix this underbelly material here uh, this was all torn down here because of a, uh, a repair a repair that was done underneath the sink here so long before I got here there was underneath this kitchen sink there there was a break in the pipes and so somebody came in here and they tore us all out to get to this to fix it from underneath and uh, this is how they left it so I'm gonna gonna repair this this is a common thing you'll see when you get under a, a mobile home is uh, you know little areas like this where you know people just tore it apart and they don't like being underneath here and so they just get out of here and just you know don't fix it stay tuned folks All right, so I've got uh, insulation all tucked up back in uh, inside here uh, in the joists. So these are our two by eight floor joists here. And uh, the insulation in this particular home is, it's a two by eight joist. So they've used uh, R R20, which is six inch uh, insulation. And what that does is it leaves a little bit of an airspace on top of the insulation for the air to circulate. So now that, that I've got that all insulation all stuffed back in there, um, I'm just starting to pull this back, you know, what remnants I have here, just to try and, you know, get them uh, tightened up. And, and you know, I'll be pulling this all up, and then uh, I'll be putting uh, a patch to, uh, you know, sort of bring it all together. All right, so I've got the remnants, uh, you know, pulled up as much as I can and stapled I just stapled it to the uh, the joists underneath there and so now you know I need to deal with that torn bit there so what I'm going to use is just some landscape fabric okay and so this is landscape fabric you know you can buy this down at your garden center or your Home Depot and you know comes in these rolls and it's you know it's very similar to the material that's underneath there you know um, and you'll find different materials under different homes uh, this particular home has you know this kind of stuff underneath of it so uh, there is a little bit of plastic in there as well but the plastic is not really all over the place uh, you don't really uh, I mean you don't really want to make that airtight with plastic um, you, you kind of want it to sort of breathe a little bit and again, it's going to depend on where you're at. So here we have this plastic on the ground, which acts as a vapor barrier to keep moisture, you know, away from the, the home. So your situation may be a little bit different. This is all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use this, uh, this landscape uh, cloth. And I'm just going to run a roll of it along here. And then I'm going to fold it underneath. All right, so, you know, once you've got your... Uh, fabric your repair fabric stapled up in place then I just seal the old fabric old fabric to the new fabric with uh, this red uh, 3m technical tape and this is just a, a sheathing tape uh, that's used it's, a, it's an outdoor tape it's, it sticks really well it doesn't let go and uh, yeah so I just go over each of the joints like that okay wherever it overlaps there's a joint and just tape the you know tape the fabric together just like that all right so i've got a little bit more to do down there i, I ran out of tape so i'm gonna have to get some more but uh you get the idea and so now your insulation the main the main thing with this i think is to hold the insulation up you know so it doesn't fall out and also to keep varmints out so um you know if you have your underbelly you know uh tight uh it's uh discourages rodents i mean they can still get in there they can get into any underbelly um you know the, by chewing through it but you know the neater and tighter the tidier you have things underneath here the better off it is you know to keep the environments out um so you know again i use this landscape fabric because it's you know very similar to to this fabric here so um you know kind of match whatever uh your fabric is underneath your home and uh yeah I know, I know some people will use some black tarps uh you know that's fine just you know whatever you know whatever works uh, whatever matches just I, I always say just match it as close as you can to the original 
in our case this fabric was pretty close all right folks so that's how you do a repair in your underbelly thanks for watching bye bye